So hopefully you have been downloading the slides and the, the tutorial files to follow along in the book. And one of the things you might notice is in tutorial one, chapter one of Microsoft Word, you get a pet file, a pet docx. Well, if we double click on that, you'll see that we actually kind of see that. And you know, right now it's not that great looking. You know, no offense, oh, he's a cute dog, cute dog and everything, but we run into a few problems. Say for example, I was to take this and I want to actually use this as an advertisement. I want to put this out uh, you know, at the Port City Java, the, the Starbucks around town. You know, I, I'm clearly wanting to expand my business as a uh, photographer. So here are the things that I can do. Well, one of them, you notice I have a lot of red squiggly lines and blue squiggly lines going on here. This is actually known as misspelled words. Well, what's going on is it's indicating this is a misspelled word. So I have a few different options. One, I can simply right click on that misspelled word and you're going to see that it gives me a few options. For example, friend, I'm missing the I, so I can now select friend and I'll actually change it on the fly. The same kind of thing, if I right click maybe on this tutorials, you see that I had, if I move off it for a second, I have two commas. Again, you know, this one's easy. I could hit backspace on my keyboard, but what if it's a little bit more complex? This will tell me what I need to do. Now, Tim Bardo Ludi, you know, that's one of those ones that I don't actually want to, you know, change because that's not Tim's last name. Bartlett is not Tim's last name. You know, my last name is Goida. Goida is not a name that I want people to you know, I, I need to be a little careful. In fact, what I can do with that is I can actually right click and you notice how I have this option add a dictionary. This is actually one of the things I've done on my own version of Microsoft Word because I know how to spell my last name. It's always going to be Goida. It's always going to be G-A-W-E-D-A. I know it doesn't sound like that, but then again, nobody knows how to pronounce Goida. Anyway, I can select add to dictionary and it's just one of those ease of my mind. I don't have to constantly be told that my name is misspelled. In our case, we're just going to select ignore all and you see that that will take care of that. Now I do want to go ahead and just change this up a little bit. You know, it's not really designed out uh, to be a good advertisement. You know, one of the things that we, if we pan out a little bit over here on the view tab, we can actually select something like one page. And if you can see, well, as an advertisement, this doesn't look too great. If we kind of go across the hall, you might notice that most flyers are actually in what's known as landscape orientation. Landscaping meaning sort of, uh, if you want to think of it, this is known, if we look at our book for a second, this is known as uh, hamburger style. This is known as hot dog style. Yes, I know I'm using food analogies to describe this, but hot dog style. So again, now we can start to work. Now we can start to play a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit more, a little less. There we are, right about there. So one of the things that we can do is let's highlight that first line. Now you notice over here, I'm kind of positioning my cursor to the left margin section. I could come over here and just highlight all of this, but one of the beautiful things in Word is if I kind of move to the margin area where I know nothing is and I click, Ooh, look at that. I highlighted everything and now I have the ability to change any one of these options. So I can change my font size. Say instead of it being an 11, I change it to something like 72. Oh, 72 is a little too big. So I'm going to shrink it down a few. Now what I can do is I can actually use these increase and decrease font size buttons over to the right. And if I click on them, you notice what happens. Suddenly, went from 72 to 48. It's still kind of a little over, so let me shrink it down again. All right, there we go. Now at 28, I have it all at least on one line. All right, well, I want to go ahead and jazz this up a little bit more. Maybe increase the font size of that second little tagline. You know, I do need to tell people about the portrait studio, otherwise they're just going to, you know, have a question and look at a pretty dog. So I can increase this as much as I need to. Uh, I went a little too far, 28 is too big. I can shrink that down. And I'm going to shrink it down just for my sake, so it's, you know, right underneath it. Now one thing I want to do is everything right now is left aligned. 
notice how here's where the margin kind of begins and everything's all on that I don't like that so much so I'm gonna actually click hold and drag my mouse downward so I'm highlighting everything again inside this paragraph section you might notice that we have a little kind of selected box right here this is known as my left align button align left button well right beside that is actually something known as the align center button and what this will do is this will actually now look at the margins so that margin and that margin and it will kind of find the middle ground between the two of them find the middle ground between the two of them as you can guess if that's what middle does if I select the right align button makes everything right aligned and justified well, it's a little weird but it's gonna try and bring everything as close to the margins as possible we're not gonna see too much of that at least right now but that's something you see a lot in newspapers so my sake I just want to go ahead and select center and all right we're starting to get somewhere we're starting to play around a little bit more all right well I want to go ahead and maybe mess around with this dog image you know it looks cute pretty but it's a little tiny especially since I've got so much white space over here well one of the things I can do is you notice when I clicked on it I got all of these kind of square blocks around the edge these are known as my anchors and what these anchors allow me to do is click hold and drag outward and look what happens to our poochie there we are you know if I keep being a little careful I can see as soon as I let go now we've got something going on now I'm gonna just maybe increase for example pet photography just so we can see that a little bit more you know a little too much but obviously that's one of those things that we need to kind of look at All right. so we're starting to get this a little jazzed up 